Up, he bobbles it, and he throws a bad throw. Okay, Payton will advance to third base, and a, a single false for hit turns into a big advancement in runners as Paintner will go to third base. I'll bring up Hoover that's now ready to uh, hit the ball. Two to one, Lunenburg lead, but they're about to add on some more. No outs, here comes the pitch. And there goes Foster hitting on down to second base. Runners on second and third now for Lunenburg. Both teams trying to take advantage of this heat as best they can. That pitch in there for ball one. Should have been very patient at the plate. Hardly any of them has been swinging at the first uh, first pitch that's been going down there. Yeah, they're working to burn these pitchers out as quickly as they can. Roach now, he's a pitcher that's in play right now. He throws a wild one and hits the plate, and that puts out ball three, three balls and no strikes. Thing is, there's no outs, and just walk and load the bases up, and that's when you have trouble. Nate Nolan will be on deck. Wind up, here comes the pitch. That's low, ball four. And that brings up Nate Nolan. Now load the bases right up now. More will be on deck. But with no outs now, base hit just blows the game open. That's what that's the situation in this tournament play. You've got to stay out of it. Here comes the pitching coach is going to come out there and say, hey, man, let's talk a little bit about this. Yeah, what's going on here, bud? Well, one thing they want to make sure, are they going to change yeah, pitches change, again? Yeah. They do. Well, that was quick. Wow, no, uh, I mean, how many pitches the, uh, the Roach pitch? I don't know. I'll, I'll try and do a couple of things. Uh, I can count against pitch count. All right. I was really trying to fix the problem back here. <laughs> now, folks, we're going to pause for a second while he warms up. So we will be right back here on the south side. Sports Radio Network. Do not go anywhere. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. And we're back. And we are back on a new pitcher that we're back. And let's see who's pitching now, Robbie. Xavier White will be pitching now for the uh, Preserve Farm Bill squad. Oh, I got it. All right. It. Xavier White yeah, will good. hit the man the first time up. And, oh, boy, let me. You hate to see it go this way, even if you're winning, but you want to win, but you you can't want to win with a good. All good right, more. I believe more to center fielder is coming yeah, up. Still, uh, that's, there's uh, still a lot of game left. I mean, yeah, that's, that's true. I mean, that walks in a run, by the way. It's three. Innings. Yeah, that walks in a run. That's three to one. All right, here comes the pitch, and that's in there for strike number one. And I got to tell you, I believe the, the, the I believe these pitches are just flat getting overheated, Robbie. Yeah. Like your computer down there. Yeah, I had to put another fan in here if they start overheating again. Here comes a wind up and the pitch. 
and that's in there for ball one, one ball and one strike. Uh -oh. And a ball was thrown a little bit wildly back to the pitch, but he gets it. So White scrambles around and picks up the ball, and now gets back to the mound. Runners on first, second, and third. We have no outs, and this one's going to be low for ball number two. Two and one now is the count. You hear somebody keep beating on the fence. <laughs> it happens. White looks, throws, and delivers a ball three. That was right down the middle of the two. Well, that's the thing, though, Tim. You know, these umpires, the strike zone has been so, so tight. Uh, well, I mean, last inning, this guy was calling him two inches off the ground for the other team. And that one just goes right down the middle of the tube and he calls it a ball. All right, that one's going down there for strike two. That brings the count to full, three balls and two strikes. <laughs> well, three to one is the score here at the top of the third. Lindenberg leading. And that's ball four. And another walk. Say that. That I mean again, I that was the same exact pitch. That was, I mean, <laughs> that that's going to bring up all day long. Is Jeffrey Goodman, is that what you got, Rob? I have uh, Jeffrey Goodman. Yep. Jeffrey Goodman is up. Now bring up four to one. And this lead basically has been on a lot of walks. Yeah. Here comes down a pitch, and that's in there for strike number one. No balls in one strike. White now looks. Runners on first, second, and third. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. No doubt about that. Be right number two. So here comes the wind up. The pitch hard hit ball. Oh, boy. And there it is. Right up the middle and gets through. Everybody goes right to the pitch. One run will score. Two runs are going to score. And three runs are going to score. And now this game is getting blown wide open. That was just a good piece of hitting right there. Nice hit right up the middle, but it was hit so hard. Maybe a little bit to the, I would say, the right center. And the left fielder just couldn't get over in time. And that thing rolled all the way to the fence. Nice double. That brings up uh, Fields. Cameron Fields, I believe. Yep, Cameron Fields. Fields. And oh boy, a nice quick timeout to tie his shoe. And right now, you want to talk about the heat. Poor White up there is feeling it. Seven to one now is the score here at the top of the third in favor of Lunenburg. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. And that's in there for strike number one. We still have no outs, folks. And the thing is, they don't get they don't get some outs pretty soon that all right, swing and a miss, strike number two. Still no out to this. But remember, you got the uh, slaughter rule that goes into effect. This is the next inning. It will be the fourth inning. So this game can be open pretty quick. Here comes the pitch, and that one's going to be high. Ball one, one ball and two strikes. Runner will go to third base. He slides in in a cloud of dust. And he's safe. At any rate, runner on third base and scoring position. Xavier White looks, winds up, throws that ball, strike number three. I'm looking that time. Chad Bachman will be coming up. And that's only, Lindenberg's only two runners, and they get back to the top of the batting order this time. Second time going through it. Here comes the White with a pitch. That was going to be low for ball one. One ball and no strikes. Hey, look. Get serious with it. Get that thing out. Dimity American and Dimity Nationals will butt heads in the next game coming up. That ought to be a good one. Swing and a kind of a chop foul. That will be in there for strike number one. One ball and one strike. Hey. Winner of 
the winner will go on in this tournament. The loser goes home. Runner on third base. Here comes the pitch. And that one's going to be low. A ball number two. Two balls and one strike. They try to get the guy at third base. Hey, it's back quick. Tim, that was close, though. Yes, it was. Here comes wind-up by White and a hard-hit ball, and it gets through. Oh, boy. That ball should have been field, unfortunately. That's going to be an error. You know, it just gets and there's another error that's being thrown, and no, nobody was paying attention. Come on, let's go. Get down. Come on, bro. That could have been trouble. Oh, boy. And Farmville's kind of falling apart a little bit, and that makes it 8-1. to one. They are having a lot of troubles right now. It's a, again, you know, hitting is contagious. We said that before. Right now, I'd say that uh, it's all going for Lunenburg. And that one is going, oh, yeah. Well, that was actually a base hit. All right, this is Chris Fowler that's up. And they come into the top of the batting order, and that should be Watson that's up. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Hard hit ball. That one's going to go to the shore. He bobbles it, and everybody's going to be safe. Runners on first and second, and here comes their ace hitter, Josh Paintner. Josh can hit one out of here. And that can almost put the ball game away. He throws the wrong pitch to this guy. Six home runs on the year. Here comes the pitch. Oh. And that was way inside. He had to dive down just to avoid getting hit with the ball. That was way inside. Hey, you know, yeah. yep. I think what you're seeing, like I said, a combination of a very tight strike zone at the bottom of a very hot day is just burning through pitchers. And I'd say Prince Edward's kind of in a lot of trouble right now. Oh. Now that one went in there for ball two, two balls and no strikes. And he's probably trying to hit the corners, though, with this, you know, with this batter. He is a threatening batter. Any of the top four is, though, but here comes now the pitch. That one's low again, ball three. And everybody will advance, oh. and they say oh. he dropped the ball. Oh. Take the third base. Beautiful throw. Beautiful yeah, throw by throw the catcher, too. too. Well, these are mistakes, though. When you're behind like this, you just can't make. That just advanced runners all in the scoring position with just one out. It counts three balls and one strike. Now a walk will load the bases up, and moreover, it takes out the force play. Here comes down the pitch. That one's low, ball four. It just, again, it rains and pours, I guess, right? Yep. Foster will be coming up. So when you look at, like Josh Paint, uh, Paintner, you're looking at walk, 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 three walks today. They're not giving him nothing to hit. And that one's going to be in there for strike one. And it's got to be frustrating to some of these good hitters. Oh, they try him at second base. No problem there. He gets back safely. But it's got to be frustrating with some of the your big, powerful hitters. And they get into this league. Of course, they just start throwing stuff that you can't hit, and you got to end up watching the ball go by. Here comes down a pitch. Hard hit ball. It goes way up in the air. Roach will get underneath it. He calls it into the sun. But he makes the play, and I'll be out in number 10. That brings up Hoover. Not the Hoover vacuum cleaner, not the Hoover dam. He was hit by a pitch last time, I think. So. Um, yep, got hit by a pitch. Struck out the first time up. All right. Here comes White now for Farmville. Winds up, pitches, swing, and a miss. In there for strike one. And normally that probably would have been a ball high, but he is so big. That strike zone really got big and uh, he decided to go for it. So that's strike number one. No balls in one strike. Bases are loaded. Here comes the pitch. And that was some sort of a change up that didn't go nowhere except into the dirt about a couple of inches beyond the plate. One and one now is the count now to Hoover. So here comes wind up in the pitch. Way low again. Ball number three. And Lunenberg is very in danger of walking another one in. 
should be two and one. Yeah, I was say, I have two, two and one? Two and one's count. Oh, okay. Good job, guys, keeping me straight here. Wind up, here comes the pitch. Well, now it's going to be three and one. I'd say, I mean, like I said, Prince Edward's just having a hard time right now. I just don't strike. What's the heat? It's the heat and the tight strike. Of course, these, these balls are, are obviously low. They're obviously, yeah. they were. But I think the pitcher's just so exhausted right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Three balls and one strike. Here comes out a pitch. That was ball four. Foster, I mean, Hoover will walk. And this will bring up Nate Nolan. He was hit by a pitch last time, Rob. Oh, he walked last time. Oh, man, it's too I'm sorry. And here comes probably another pitch. Probably, yeah, they'll probably bring in Phipps. I think Phipps can probably pitch a little bit. And let's see. It looks like they do. So, as the big man Phipps come up and into this heat, he's probably saying, should have gotten in, crawled in an ice box somewhere before I got on this mound to cool off some. Nevertheless, we'll be right back in just a few minutes right here on the Southside Sports Network. Do not go away. Take more friends and express their individuality. When they learn to play some music and or paint or dance or write creatively. Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie, I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No, not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. <laughs> Back here at Lynn Art Field, just a quick pause while they make a pitching change and he's warming up. And Fitz will come in and pitch for Farmville. They find themselves down 9-1. to one. And really, it was a close game all the way up until the third inning. And that is when Farmville has ran into a lot of trouble. Yeah, they've been, what, through three pitchers this one inning alone? Yep. Yeah, this is pitcher number three, right, Tim? Yeah, yes yeah. it is. I mean, that's what's really just killing them. They have... Well, you know, when you get, you know, and I know a lot of people might feel differently. I know this is tournament play and everything, but I, th I think the, actually the umpire should open up, and Tim, see if you agree with me, open up that strike zone just a little bit. Well, it, it's not it, it's not so much opening up the strike zone, it's calling it the way it is. But if it hits the corner of that white, it's a strike, regardless. Well, I mean, it's If, if it's the All-Stars, Major League... A strike is a strike. And I know, folks, it's easiest for us to be here in the press box and not down there looking over the catcher's shoulder, you know. But um, it just seems like the strike zones are awful tight in this season. Yeah. I mean, and this, in, in this tournament, and like, so when, when, you, when you start seeing, like I said, a lot of these all-star players, I mean, pitchers, you know, very good ones, like Matthew Fitz, um, you know, you would think that uh, you would see these high-scoring games like 9-1. to one. Yeah. All right, he's back in the back action. That one grids in there, strike number one. And I believe, and this is a foul back, that'd be in there for strike two. Nate Nolan, maybe? Oh, uh, Nate Nolan, yeah. Moore will be on deck for Lunenburg. Like I said, comfortable lead, 9-1 to one so far. Here comes Fitz with a pitch. Hard hit ball. That will go into uh, left field. And here comes Moore run. Two will score. That makes it 11 now to one. One more inning, Robbie. We, and, if, and if 
Farmville doesn't score, this game could be over pretty quick. Farmville's probably sitting there wondering how in the world did we get in this position? Well, like I said, they just had a hard time throwing strikes and the Lunenburg just waited on them. Big pitch, big swing and a miss in there for strike number one. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss, strike number two. And I believe, who is this, Robbie? I believe it's Deshaun Moore. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's Moore. It's a throw. That one's a little bit low. And that one's going to be low. Ball one, one ball and two strikes. And uh, Godwin's going to be on deck. Lunenburg. Loser goes home. Winner moves on in the tournament. That one's into the dirt. And you know, then and of course, Tim, you got to take the consideration with all the heat too. Oh yeah. I bet you. I mean, this heat's playing a huge factor. Talking to some of these pitchers who've been on that mound, it's been like it's like being on the Mojave Desert. Here comes now the pitch. That's in there for strike number three. Very long inning, final inning for, uh, for So, a couple of men left on, maybe one or two errors, but anyway, I kind of lost track in a way. But anyway, a lot of walks, 11 to 1 in favor of Lunenburg. We'll be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Okay, back here at Lynn Hart Field here in Lunenburg with the heavenly flower bids and the friendly skies. Yep. And it's about 500 degrees out there on the field. No, not really 500 degrees, but it's 90 something. Hot as the surface of the sun. I know it feels like it. My goodness. Yeah. Tim's up on top of the uh, chili here working on his tan. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now. Who do we got coming up, Robbie? According to my list, my list I have uh, Chase Grubbs. And kind of an interesting piece of piece here. Farmville has yet to go through their batting order one time. They really haven't, have they? Nope. <laughs> All right, here's a hard hit ball. Right to the shortstop. He throws him out at first. And that is a really, really nice help. And by the uh, shortstop to the first, easy out. You know, that was a, uh, like I said, a first, a first, uh, first uh, pitch thing there, too. And now they finally come to the top of their batting order. Xavier White the bat. Yep. See you there. Well, that helped Hoover out quite a bit with that nice defensive play. One of the things that Ben that's up in there for ball one. One of the big difference in these, some of these ball games have been at the time just how good their defense is playing, and the pitcher has to pitch one down there and he hits the ball, and uh, their defense has a good defense to back them up. That's been the, sometimes the difference in these ball games. Here it comes now. Drew winds up, throws. I mean Hoover winds up, winds up hitting the strike zone. 
And what, the ball one. What really like got one. what really got Farmville in trouble from virtually for them is that they got a lot of people walked on base, and all of a sudden with the bases loaded, that when we just started to do these nice hits. Here comes now the pitch, and there ball number two. Two balls, one strike. It just seems like last year when we did it, we just didn't see the walks that we have now. Uh, this, you know, this year. It's kind of odd, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's a big difference. Uh, that one's going to fall short of the plate, but that's obvious. Ball three, three balls and one. But this is what I'm saying. And thing is, you're looking at uh, Hoover is a good, good pitcher. Well, I mean, again, I think if we just have a, such a narrow strike zone this year, and to be fair, Farmville needs to take advantage of that by waiting on these pitches. All right, Hoover winds up. That one comes right down in there for strike number two. And that brings the count to full. So a full count, and again, the poor pitcher on the mound is throwing a lot of pitches. A lot of pitches. Here it comes now. Wind up and a pitch. And that one's going to be ball four. It's a walk. That brings up Austin Orange. And, you know, same rules, small pod. All right, Austin Orange hit a home run this year. I mean, a home run earlier this, uh, this tournament. And let's see where they put – Robbie, you can look at the thing. See where they put his uh, – Outside, way yeah, outside. way outside. On, yep, that one's going to be ball one. This is what I mean. Some of these really good players. Well, that, he's also burned. That, yep. that, that would have been a ball. They ain't ball. taking no chance. They ain't give them no sissy balls right down the middle. That's for sure. The outside one there. Yep, here comes another outside. And that was another for ball two. Two balls and no strike. So it looks like some of these great big hitters, they don't even get a chance to hit the ball. Well, but to be fair, man. The pitcher still throwing a lot of pitches here, and every pitch is dangerous out here. So here comes the wind up in the pitch, and that was in there for the strike. But that was a good pitch, though. He didn't wait on that one. Two balls and one strike. That one did hit the corner. Though. I gotta be honest, I think that may have been a ball like the last inning. <laughs> hmm. Two balls and one strike with one out. Eleven to one. Crew. I mean, uh, no, that was a swing and a chop back. Two and two will come the, to count. Hit the catcher in the arm. Oh, oh that catcher. hurts, and he is in pain. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Second catcher hurt. Not a good day for catchers. That's, no. That is for sure. They wrapped a cold towel around him, trying to cool him off. So now let's see what they're going to do here. We have a quick timeout, folks, right now. See how the uh, catcher is. And who is that, Robbie? Who's the catcher? I believe we got Jeb Buchanan for the catcher. You know, that's smart stuff, right? Oh, Jeb Buchanan. I know Jeb Buchanan. He played basketball with us. I even baseball. coached him, didn't I? <laughs> I didn't coach him. He played on the other team. He may have played for the other team. No, he played for us. <laughs> Well, I was coach on the, on your team, Matthew. Matthew said there, he was, you know, by the, there you go. Look like and, he's um, okay. That's Gary be, Moore was coaching. Uh, his uh, arm a little sore yep. there, but it looks like he is okay. So it looks like he's going to drop right back in, get his mask on, get his glove, and be ready to go. Well, at any rate, Jeb will come back behind the plate. I'm sure right now I'd rather be playing basketball. It's a lot cooler anyway. All right, here comes the Hoover. will pitch a couple of pitch warm-up pitches to make sure he's A-OK. -okay. But, boy, I tell you, 11 to 1, and he need to score at least one to keep out of that danger, um, you know, slaughter roll. Yeah. All right, this game could be over in the next inning coming up. We have, what, at one Oh, that one's a swing and a miss. Strike number three. And this has really been the difference throughout the day for these two teams. I mean, Lunenburg has gotten on base, and Farmville just has had no luck at all. That will bring up uh, Roach, I believe. Austin Roach. I believe so, yes. So, Hoover now will look. Takes aim as hot as he can be. Winds up. Here comes the pitch. And he puts that one in there for strike number one. No balls in one strike. Nice pitch. Now Roach will cock that arm back a little bit further, and he's be, he'll be ready to swing the ball if it's anywhere close. 
One run on, White's on first base. Here comes the pitch. And this one's going to be a foul, foul back out of play. Head towards the cars once again. Yep. I moved my car way back there this time, folks. <laughs> Not taking any chances this time, huh? Nope. No balls and two strikes with two outs. I want to thank everybody, by the way, tuning in to the Southside Sports Network and listening to our stream. Here comes the pitch. And that was going to be a ball. White will hit on down to second base. Oh, he's real quick, too. And he was moving. Well, that'll bring up a count on one ball and two strikes now. Mike, I mean, uh, Matthew Fitz will be on deck. Hoover now looks. Puts his glove up here and now winds up with a pitch. And this one's going to be an all, so foul back. And one strike away now of retiring... Prince Edward Farnville in this, you know, basically in this inning. Here comes now the pitch, and this one's going to be a chopper that will go to Prince, and he's wisely holds on to the ball. He might get him out. He's safe. Oh, at third base. That's close. All right. I want to give this for the third baseman has played very well. That little guy can play some ball. But what he did, and Tim, I don't know if you agree with me with on that, he, he checked the runner coming in, and then he wisely was going to throw it to first, and he says, nope, and he kind of faked it, actually drew the guy off. You almost had him there. Yep. All right, here comes the next batter. That's going to be in there for ball one. One ball and no strike with two outs. Runners on first and third. For Prince Edward Farmfield, they find themselves trailing 11 to 1. Here comes the Hoover winds up and oh, what a deliver! A nice pitch. That was a nice pitch. Yep, that's in there for strike. One ball and one strike. And it is hot. H O T hot. In okay, Hoover winds up and delivers way high, and it's an air for ball two, two balls and one strike. And really, I think the name of the game is to try to burn this other pitcher out of Lunenburg. The problem is, it's hard to do that when you're already two outs down. And again, nice comfortable lead. Here comes the pitch. That's an air for ball three, three balls and one strike. Another one, and then now Lunenburg will be, be uh, We'll have loaded the bases up. Three balls and one strike. Runners on first and third for Prince Edward Farnville to wind up in the pitch. And that one's going to be low, and they're going to try to bring the guy in, and they do. He's safe. Jacob Fisher will be coming up. And that will bring the score, by the way, 11 to 10. Yeah, well, that takes away that 10 run rule. Yeah. And a 10 run rules, at least for now. And they're going to have a talk out here with uh, Hoover, it looks like. <laughs> yep. What's wrong with you, Hoover? What's your problem? Well, Hoover's got two words for him I'm hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't blame him. I'm, I get hot just looking at him, Robbie. You mean we're hot in here, too? AC doesn't work much above 85, but it can break the news to you. <laughs> now with the sun coming down through this really big window, we cut into this trailer. And they're going to bring a new picture in. Yep. Are they? Or are they? Are they leaving the Hoover in? Looks that way. Yep, sure it does, don't he just He just needs some water. That might have been it. Okay, runners on first and second. Here comes a wind up from Hoover. Hard hit ball left to the left field, and he's going to. Oh, oh boy! What a. Oh, we'll get to that in a minute. A nice catch. But I got to admit one thing. Hold it, we'll talk about this in one second. And Tim, I, that should have been the left fielder's call. 
Um, the center fielder came over and made the play, but another run will score. And now it's 11 to 3. Hey, make it work now. Nothing high. Make it work. Runners down on second and third. We still have two outs. Here comes down the pitch. And who's up, Bobby? I think I have Walker Sanderson. Walker Sandler's up. Nathan Drew will be on deck. Hoover now with the wind up in the pitch, and this one's a little bit high and a little bit of a light swing at that. Put it all together, and end up with a strike. Once again, our crowd now, Mike takes a beating. Yep, two, uh, one ball and one strike now is the count. Runners on second and third. Here comes down the pitch. That was going to be low for ball two. 11 to three in favor of Lunenburg. Lunenburg jumped out of a huge lead. But uh, Farmville's trying to inch back a little bit. They scored two so far here at the bottom of the third. Here comes the wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two, two balls and two strikes. And I gotta say, Ethan Hoover is now starting to get a lot of pitches. He's up to 64 pitches so far. 64 pitches in this heat is almost something. I mean, he might start seeing mir mirages pretty soon. He might. It's a lot of working hard. All right, here comes the wind up in the pitch. And this one's going to be a chop. And it goes to the final part of second base. One run will score. And now make it 11 to 4 in favor of Lunenburg. The shortstop had a shot at it. Yeah, and he got well. it, but he bobbled it down. And the runner, Sandlin, was able to get the... Uh, yeah, Sanderson uh, was getting base there. Now bring up... Uh, Nathan, Nathan Drew. Drew. Make sure we get that right there. Made him walk last time he was up to bat. Okay, runners on first and third. We have two outs. Here comes the pitch. High, high, high in there for ball one. Yeah, that was definitely a high one. And this is turning out to be another high-scoring game, Robbie. Yes, it is. It's 11 to 4. And, I mean, you think 11 to, you know, 11 to something is... Wow, it, you know, the game ain't over until it's over, and it looks like this way this is going. Here comes the pitch, and this one's oh, going to be a foul back. Oh, and that I hit, almost had it. I almost had it. That hit the old white <laughs> elephant. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Tim was trying for it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't finally get my first foul wow. ball of the tournament. That should give you a glove up there to use. One ball and one strike with two outs. Nathan, here comes now the pitch from Hoover. Swing and a miss. And there, three. strike number two. Three. That's strike three? Was it? No. No, strike two, I'm sorry. Strike two. I'm yeah, pretty much be. on the ball today. I haven't been too bad. I do say so myself. Come on, you let's go. Hey, man, I've been driving here. Hey, man, I've been walking down. Right. One ball and two strikes. Relax, I'm going to need you right here now. Oh, Runners on first and third. Who is remaining in as pitching? Here comes the pitch, and this one's oh. going to be a slice foul. Now it's still the counting down one ball and two strikes. I mean, Robbie, I'm in here with the AC on, and I'm still sweating a little bit. I can imagine what it is out there. Yeah, that must be nice. Uh, I don't know. It's not that great. As I said, here comes a wind up and a chance. Oh. Trees, folks. That one was in the trees. That one was in the trees. Like I said, like I said earlier in the game, it's not over. This is true. The only thing that Nathan Drew did not do right on that pitch was file a flight plan with NASA. That was definitely a long hit. He put that one in the trees. We yep. That one, to that the one went all the way to the trees. In a time when your team needed yep. a home run, that was it. And that brings it to 11-7. to seven. That's in there for strike one. That energizes everybody a little bit. But just when you think, you know, and again, that's, you know, we were talking about, you know, earlier games, right when you think you've won it, you know, wow. 
it gets turned around oh, real, yeah. real quickly with the way the pitching has been. I tracked that ball right. I mean, it yeah, went over going, top of the. Uh, going, going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I knew it was gone first thing when he hit it, but I oh, wanted yeah. to see just how far it went. Here comes the pitch. I think that's going to be the furthest ball hit yeah, in yes. this tournament. Yes, so far. it is. It is easily. Easily the, the furthest hit this whole tournament. A little bit of ball bumbling there. Yeah, but nobody left on base. They cleaned it up. Yeah. And now I'll say Farmville finds themselves just, you know, they were 10, now they're down just four. Wow. You know, and they're making Hoover throw a lot of pitches. Now. Oh, he's up to 74 now. 74 pitches? His heat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's exhausted. Look at him. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's just flat exhausted. They, they need to replace that. They need to replace him. Yeah. Trouble is, dude, I don't wonder if they've got any good pitches. They should have. Yeah, they have short they, I don't know if they have anybody left of. Here comes a wind up pitch, swing and a miss. I think he like two. I think he wanted Nathan uh, Hoover to go at least three innings. That way they use him tomorrow. He's only pitching three innings. Yeah, but there's no tomorrow. This is true. It's Marvel's closing that gap very fast. Three balls and two strikes. Hoover looks, now he takes aim, takes a deep breath and delivers. Swing and a miss, strike number three. So, so that small ball. Six run will score, only one error, believe it or not, but a lot of walks. As we go now to the top of the fourth, ladies and gentlemen, Lindenberg holds on to 11 to seven lead. We'll be right back, right after these messages. Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. All right, back here at Lynn Hartfield and the beautiful skies and the heavenly flower beds. And uh, one thing for sure, nice hit, um, nice home run. That thing went all the way to the trees. And a nice home run by Mason Drew. His first home run this uh, series. And of course, Prince Edward Farmville, no surprise here. They're going to keep Fitz in. If ever a time a printer in Farmville needs three up, three down, now is it. Well, the way this game this game could turn out, but that took that big slaughter rule off the table for now. That thing is in there, ball one. <laughs> and I mean, folks, I mean, of course, that was pretty obvious. I mean, I know there's been some close, but I mean, and that one's going to be in there for ball two. But I think a lot of this contributing is just the heat and the humidity has been so bad. Yeah. It just killed pitchers. All right, Fitz winds up and throws. And that's going to be in there for ball three. Three balls and no strikes. Now Fitz is having problems. Uh, I don't know if it's, I, I mean. He, <laughs> he 
Raiders. They're going to have a little talk if, with them there. If they're missing, they're, they're missing barely. I mean, barely. I guess that's right. Good advice from the coach there. Throw strikes. Well, when you have that situation, I mean, look at the score. It proves it. 11-7. Yeah. Come on, guys. The players with, you know, here comes the uh, punt sign, and now he pulls back. And that's going to be ball. No, oh, that's going to be three balls, that's a strike. That was a strike. Three balls, one strike. Yep. And that one's going to be a hard hit ball to the second baseman. Throws it up. And they say that he left his foot up. And he is safe. No, he's, no out. he's out. He's out. He's out. Oh. Yeah, but it, 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 the way the umpire looked like he, he was going to give him a safe sign, I said, he was definitely out. No yeah, he was definitely he was out. out. Yeah. I had the camera right there zoomed yeah, in. Here, here comes, here he comes the conference right now. Oh boy, he was out. I'm sorry, telling he was way, he was way out. They tell Lindenberg that, but that he was out. Yeah. Well, wow, <laughs> gee whiz. Well, boy, I tell you what, though. I mean, I got two camera angles on it. Yeah. <laughs> No, well, they don't have an instant replay here. Okay, let's go underneath the hood and look at the instant replay. Yeah. <laughs> you put that in the R&D budget there. Yeah. All right, here it comes down. The wind-up. Here's the pitch. And it's good. Strike one. Strike one. Fitz is, Fitz is really thrown with some great velocity, too. Yeah. Yep. Pitch winds up. Here comes the pitch. That was thrown with great philosophy, too, and then strikeout number two. No balls and two strikes. No one on base. Lindenberg leading 11 to 7. And that is going to break. That's going to definitely break it. Strikeout. And that'll be out number two. That brings up uh, Jeff Buchanan, I believe. Yep, he's the catcher. Here comes the pitch. Way inside. And that was going to be inside, ball one. <laughs> well, you know, well, we'll get to it in a few minutes. Phipps winds up and pitches. That was in there. You know, it'd be kind of neat to compare last year's stats on pitching average and what, what this year's pitching averages are. It's, it's a different, again, I think it's a lot tire of strikes. Fitz winds up. Here comes the pitch. That one's in there for ball three. And here comes and here comes another wall. Like you said, if it's not in the middle, you're not going to get a strike. It's just the way it is here. In this Three O's count. Yeah. All right. Matthew Fitz winds up. Yeah. Throws it. And throws another ball. That's ball four. How about a bad order now, I believe, for Lunenberg. That's going to bring up L.J. Watson. Just Fowler to that. I mean, we got. That was this, Fowler, I'm sorry. I, I had the wrong person. That's Lunenburg Fowler. has got. That was that was one, two, three, four, five, six. And that was number seven, eight. Eight walks. Yeah. Here comes down the pitch. And this one's a chop that goes over to. Uh, oh, what a beautiful play by Xavier White. But that one went right over the catcher's. I mean, the pitcher's head. And was able to get the runner out. Fourth play out at second. So. As we go now to the bottom of the bottom of the fourth, it is 11 to seven in favor of Lunenburg. So don't go away. We'll be right back with exciting Dixie Youth baseball. Don't go away. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2-megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the Internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge, and he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the Internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Do stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, 
and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. All right, back here at Lennart Field as we go to the bottom of the fourth. And guys, Painter's coming in to pitch yep, new for Lindenberg. And I have to admit, Hoover did uh, a fantastic job. I mean, really did. All right, who do we got coming up? Oh, sorry, I had to check something. Uh, that would... That's a strike. That, I believe, is Clay Osborne up to bat now for Farmville. Farmville's down just four runs. They can make that up fairly easily. One ball, no strike, swing, and a chop foul back. Kind of goes outside out of play behind oh, yeah. everybody. They still got three more at bats. Yeah. Yep. So no balls and two strikes now. That's one of the reasons I think they brought Paintner in. I mean, the other guy was hot, he was tired, and he threw in a fairly decent game considering everything when you talk about the heat and, yeah. and everything like that. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Hard hit ball. That goes through. First baseman could not get it. And Osborne gets on base. Beautiful little hit right there, right in the gap. Right between both first and second basemen. Nice little hit. Now bring up uh, Gabe Jenkins is up. Uh, no, I'm top batting with Xavier White. Okay, Xavier is up. Here comes the pitch. Ball. Yeah, you're right, because Gabe Jenkins is super soft. That's going to be in there for ball one. Osborne will just kind of trot on down there to second base, and he'll make it there quite easily. 11-7, to seven, Lindenburg leads. But that... That can change. Hard hit ball, pop up. and that's going to be a pop-up. That went straight up in the air, and uh, Fisher will get underneath it and grab it, and that'll be a nip for the first out. They're all getting on top of this ball. That frees that runner, of course, right there on mm -hmm. second. Hoover goes. Hoover says, man, first first base is like air conditioning. Playing way back, though, right at, at the edge of the the grass and the play, swing and a miss, strike one. Austin Orange at the bat now for the uh, Prince Edward Farmville squad. Strike out the last time, that one's in there for ball one, for ball and one strike. And Josh Payton obviously a very good pitcher and Lindenberg would have to bring their best in at this point with uh, Farmville nipping at their heels. Here comes the wind up, the pitch. And a hard hit ball. That's going to go to the shortstop. They're going to try him at first. They get him. They're going to try him at uh -oh. third. He and he oh. it. A double play. Nice, beautiful play, I got to admit. And that's going to retire the side. So, as we go to the top of the fifth, it's 11 to 7. We will be right back right after these messages. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew, the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, 
Then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie. I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No. Not really. <laughs> Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stack. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. All right, we're back. We are back. <laughs> we are definitely back. Top of the fifth, 11 to 7. That was a last one was a good play. A little doubtful about one one uh, area, one out, but uh, we're not going to talk about that because we've got to give credit, at least with the uh, try anyway. So that's anyway, nice double play by Lunenberg. That brings up Josh Paytner. Back. Yeah. He, walk, he walked twice and uh, hit a single. I do believe that last inning was the uh, fastest, fastest ups we've had all day. All right, one ball and no strikes. He has walked all three times he's been up, too. That one's going to be in there for ball two. He looked like he's hitting in that direction, Robbie. Yep. Pitts winds up, delivers a pitch, and he kind of chopped at that one, uh, and it's going to be out of play, but a good, good, good uh, uh, hustle by Roach getting over there to see if he can get that foul ball. Yeah, Roach is he, running. I think yep. he would have tried to climb the dugout fence if he could. Despite the heat, we still seen a lot of hustle out there. Two balls and one strike now. Paintner. Here comes Fitz, winds up. Hard hit ball, the third baseman. They throw him out at first. And that's going to be in there for out number one. Painter is out there. Out. That That's going to bring up Foster, I think. Malik Foster, I believe, yeah. So Malik will see what he can do. This winds up. Burns one down there. Swing and a miss. Strike one. That one had some heat on it. Here comes down another pitch and a bunt. That's going to be strike number two. And that's going to be called foul ball. And Foster is running like down there like nobody's business. And that again, I, I appreciate the hustle. Yeah, you appreciate the hustle. We really do. Lunenburg leading 11 to 7. Things are going a little bit faster. They got basically two fresh pitchers in for Farmville and Lunenburg. Here comes now the pitch. And this one's going to be a chop base hit goes to Fitz. Fitz guns it and gets him out at second for the second out. Two up, two down. Oh, Brings up. Uh, Great hustle all the way around. Yeah. Ethan Hoover now. The uh, Ethan Hoover at the bat now. He had a home run. Yep. Earlier. He probably won't give him diddly squat to hit. If he can help it. Here comes Matthew Fitz. Winds up the pitch. And he ran that one down there. Pretty fast pitch, though, but ball one. Hey, at this point, uh. Farmville is just concentrating on getting strikes right now. So like that's the biggest hurdle today. Fitz winds up in the pitch again. This one's going to be a chop in. Right in the center field. This one goes all the way to the fence. They're going to try him at second base. He wisely gets back. They're going to try to throw him out, and it's nothing doing. Hoover will get back safely. That was close. Roach almost had it. Yeah, that, I thought that was going to be a double for sure. Good throw by the second baseman. To, Gun down the set is and then a lot of effort by the second baseman, a shortstop rather, to that yeah, big jump up grab. Well, bring up Nate Nolan that was hit by a ball the last time he was pitched at. Run on first base with two outs. Fitz winds up, here comes the pitch. That's going to be low ball number one. Well, Fitz now wind, looks, winds up on the hill, and this is a chop foul in there. Strike number two, one ball and two strikes. Hoover on third base, on first base rather. I know I'm sure Lindbergh would love to get another run on the board here. Open that lead up just a little bit more away from Farmville. 
Yep, pitch winds up the pitch. That one's going to be low, ball two. Two balls and one strike. Hoover on first base with two outs for Lunenburg. Here comes the pitch, and this one's going to be a chop, and it's going to be in play. They're going to throw him out, and that's going to be a third and final out. So, Good heads up play by Drew. Yep. Yep. So as we go to the bottom of the fifth, it is 11-7 unchanged, and we'll be right back. What does your world sound like? That's geography. The music of the world around you. Geography is people, places, environments, and economics. Geography gives us the framework for understanding our world. But sadly, our kids aren't getting enough of it. Half can't locate economic powers like Japan and India, and 20% can't even find the Pacific Ocean. That's why we created MyWonderfulWorld.org. It's part of a free National Geographic-led campaign to give our kids the power of global knowledge. Go to MyWonderfulWorld.org to learn more and get your free parent and teacher action kits. It's a wonderful world. Hot from the toaster and filled with the essential creative thinking skills of an 18th century musical genius, Mozart Toasties are an important part of an arts-healthy childhood. Studies show that involvement in the arts helps kids increase test scores and promotes academic achievement. Feed your kids the arts. For 10 simple ways to learn how, visit americansforthearts.org. The arts. Ask for more. Brought to you by Americans for the Arts, the NAM Foundation, and the Ad Council. All right, we're back here. Leonard Field and Lunenburg. 11 to 7 is the score as we here at the bottom of the fifth. And we'll see what happens Austin with Roach. Austin Roach is up. And this was going to be an error for ball one. Austin Roach, a great hitter. Yep, he's uh, one for uh, one for two for the day. Lindenberg playing all the way back to the grass in the infield. And everything else, too, I think, too. Yep. Especially when you look at Hoover, which is right in front of us. Look how far back he's paying off the uh, off the first base. Yeah. Well, if he has speed to get there in time, it's probably not a bad place for him. Yep. Here comes the windup. Swing and a miss. It's in there for strike two. One ball and two strikes. We're seeing the shadows start to get a little bit longer here in Art Field as the sun's kind of coming around the other way. And this one's going to be a pop-up, and they're going to try to get it. Nothing doing. It's defense. And that's going to go down as a strike, one ball and two strikes. <laughs> one ball and two strikes now. Wind up, here comes the pitch. This one's going to be a slice back. Count remains the same, one ball and two strikes. It's like Roach is just catching just the edge of it. He's not quite getting good solid contact, and the ball isn't going where he wants it to. Roach gets there, raises that big old bat. Painter winds up, here comes the pitch. Oh, and the ball, and this one might be out of here. Oh, it's going, going, gone. Three-point ball game. Well, the right center, that thing went all the way. Now Roach chalks up one, it's 11 to eight. And we've seen a a lot of home runs in this, in this tournament, Rob. Yes, we have. Uh, Matthew Fitz now up the bat for Fritz over Farmville. Now it's going to be high, ball one. Yep. That was a great at bat. 
he that got, was a good he's hat. seen about eight, nine pitches. Yep. Here comes the wind up of the pitch. Just got the one that he liked, and he went oh, in and yeah. took it on out of here. He took it and drove that outside pitch right out there to right field. Yeah, good hit. Uh, Two balls and no strikes. Fitz lat walk last time he was up in the uh, third inning. All right, here comes the wind up, the pitch. Oh, 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 oh. And it's good snag. Oh, nice snag. And again, Alan, he got it. No, he stayed. He stayed. Barely missed. Good hit by Matthew Fitz. Hoover tried to get it, and it's been moved. Snag. That's a great snag by second yeah, baseman. Yeah. That's a great try. Yeah. Two. Good try there. In fact, yeah. he probably stopped a double instead of just a single. That brings up uh, Jacob Fisher, who's been having a really good tournament with a single and a double and an RBI for the day. And that one's going to be an error for strike one. No balls and one strike. 11 to 8 right now, Lunenburg lead. They lead kind of dwindled down to only three. Here comes the ball. That one's going to be in there for ball one, one ball and one strike. Yeah, a little bit outside and low. However, here comes the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Oh, I think that looked like a curveball there, Tim. I, th I think it was just an outside fastball. Okay. And then we had him chasing it the entire way. Yeah. All right, here comes... Paytoner winds up and he pitches. That's going to be an air for ball two. Two and two is the count. Runner on first base with no outs. Here at the bottom of the fifth here at Leonard Field. Here comes the wind up of the pitch. Oh, the ball that's going to be at the shortstop. Oh, he bobbles, bobbles it. The tie and run is up at that. The tie and run. Is up at bat, and you know, and we have no outs. No outs. Wow. Also, Walker Sanderson is up to bat. Walker has a single and a strikeout so far today, so it makes him. Uh, oh, let's not forget a nice RBI. He has a good chance of making yet another one here. And they're everyone kind of freezes. They're gonna have a talk. Yeah, coach can right. bring him out some water. Yeah, I, I think they should get everyone some water at this point. I think everybody they should get a shower, you know. Yeah. Well, I think that's a good thing. Get a little bit of, get a little bit of water. Yeah, it's hot. It's, it's hot out here. It's very hot, yeah. Matter of fact, man, I'd go get one of those ice balls, you know, that you get. Boy, that'd feel good. Just rub all over it. You know what we need? We need those things they have in the NFL with the fan with the water spurts out of it. There you go. Oh, those well, that's just great. like, you know, like uh, especially fits. Yeah, I, I'd put a pinch runner in for Fitz right now, because that's my pitch. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you don't want to burn him out running around the bases. There you go. All right, here we go. Hoover now. Uh, I mean, Pittman winds up high pitch, and everybody is going to go stealing, and they do. Fitz will make it to third base, and the runner will make it to shortstop. I mean, short, uh, second base, and that'll bring up one ball and no strikes. Batter represents a tying run. Pantner winds up, throws, and that's strike number one. A little bit low, though, but we'll, they'll take it if they'll take it any way they can get it right now. Yep. One and one is the count. That comes down in there, ball two, two balls and one strike. Runners on second and third for Prince Edward Farmville. They're down. With no outs. With no outs, but they're only down by three runs. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Now bring the count, two balls and two strikes. As Sanderson just made his decision too late there. It's two and two. Here comes the wind up, the pitch, swing and a miss, strike number three. No, he fouled that off. Oh, he did? Yep. I didn't even see the ball hit the bat. But he does hang in there. Two and two still remains down. Painter look for Lindenberg. Winds up, here comes the pitch. And now that's straight number three. That brings up Mr. Nathan Drew, who already has a home run tonight afternoon with a uh, three no, RBIs. He's got a shot, not a home run. That was a, 
That was a <laughs> that was a shot. He had to clear that one. <laughs> air traffic control, right? <laughs> That's right. All right, here comes Painter with the pitch. Right. That one's going to be high. They don't want to give anything that. No, could... no he tried to overthrow that. Yeah. Right. You don't want to see that one. You know, take one out of here. Here comes the wind up of the pitch. Hard hit ball. This one goes to the second baseman. He throws him out pretty out. One there. run scores, though. A one run does score and cuts the lead to only two. Runner on third base. And some ringing of the bats, and this game could change dramatically very, very quickly. Lindenberg is kind of wondering to themselves how how are we funding ourselves in this predicament? We had a, at one time we had like 11 11 to 2 lead or 11 to 1 lead. They do still do have the leads, just a lot tighter now. Well, the only two. And the way they've been catching up. Yeah, been, been I would nipping, be very concerned. He's been nipping at their heels. Just All right. Painter winds up, a bun is shown, he comes strike. back in there for strike one. And in spite of that bat getting up there and showing a bunt, Painter was able to zip one down in there for strike. Yep. No balls and one strike now is the count. 11 to 9 now. Slight Lunenburg lead. Here comes the pitch, swing and a miss. Strikes. That brings up strike number two. No balls and two strikes. Here at the bottom of the fifth. Here comes the wind up. That was low. And that was going to be low. Ball one. One ball and two strikes. Well, we've seen pitchers in this tournament lose their composure real quick. That one's going to be ball number two. In fact, we've seen some instances where they almost had the game and now suddenly things just kind of fall apart. Yeah. All right, two and two count. Here comes the pitch in. Way down in the dirt, ball three. That's going to be full count. Very important pitch here. Yep. Don't want to lose this guy. Here comes now the wind up and the pitch. Strike oh, number three. Got him. Well, now as we go to the top of the six, it's 11 to 9 in favor of Lunenburg. We will be right back right after these messages don't go away. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today, 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Ever. Brought to you by Radio Shack. I need a new phone, so I'll go to Radio Shack, take their advice, and buy a Sony Ericsson Z750 with AT&T service. It has a 2 megapixel camera, FM radio, and a web browser, so I can surf the internet. And then one day at a car dealership, I'll find the price of a car too high, but the salesman won't agree, and he'll throw me a challenge that he'll get me the car for free if I find it for cheaper, so I'll use the internet on my phone, find it for cheaper, and get it for free. And I'll owe it all to Radio Shack. Don't just buy stuff. Two stuff. See your local Radio Shack dealer at Southside Electronics, Blackstone Square Shopping Center. Back to the action here at Lynn Hard Field, 11-9, and a slight Lunenburg lead. They're up the bat trying to add on to that lead. Yeah, just a two-point lead. They Last led, inning. They led by uh, 10 at one point. <laughs> yep. All right, here comes Fitz, winds up, swing and a miss. He's right, number one. You gotta really give credit to Fitz. He's coming oh, yeah. in, really just shut down this Lunenburg deep. Oh yeah, completely, completely. And this one's a pitch. Who's up? Who's just up? Now? This is Deshaun Moore. Come back, 
All right. Here comes now the pitch. Yeah. No balls and two strikes. Ball one. Right ball on that did strikes. look like a strike. I don't know where that missed at. Todd wanted to be on deck. Wind up in the pit. Straight and a miss. One down. That brings up Jeffrey Goodwin. First baseman for the uh, Lunenburg All-Stars. Yep. Struck out. What is the kind of first seat? Somebody's back too big or something? No. no, they're talking about his back foot. Who's back foot? The pitcher. What's wrong with it? Looks like he's got two of them to me. He would have became, if he's not st starting on the mound, right? He's starting on the mound. Uh, I'm sorry, get out the measuring stick. No, better yet. What are those things that the people use on the side of the roads to figure out exactly? <laughs> I might have to pull out a third DVD at this rate. This game's gone so long. We're over two and a half hours, you know. Over two hours, rather. Tim, what was what was he doing with his foot? Can you tell us? Hey, they're saying that he's not having contact with the rubber. Is what that coach is is is, is over there uh, protesting. I don't know. It looks like he'd been in contact with rubber from my angle. But. Yeah. What do they want to do? Give them a warning. Move on. I mean, I mean, come on, folks. Yeah, I mean, they don't I don't do think it. that's the we'll deciding we'll, factor. We'll, this we'll game. Be, right? We'll be watching from here on out. Okay, you know. I mean, we're already well over a two and a half hour game here. I don't it's kind of ridiculous to keep adding on to that. Gosh, it's been that long. Yeah, this game has been a long one. We started at four. We started a little about uh, about a two hour game. I'm sorry, two hour five minutes. Oh boy, here we go. Now the Lindenberg coach, if you can zero in on that, on the. Yeah, here we go. That's our number. It's one of our other action cameras that we have. Woo! Let's go! Come on, boy! <laughs> <laughs> so the Lindenberg coach, I'm surprised they don't ring a bell and say, you know, round one, ding, ding. Exactly. See, we have rock'em, sock'em robots. I don't know. All right, now they finally break up. Now they're going to go talk to Fitz. Well, you know, oh, come on. I mean, that's what they're talking about. Give me a break. <laughs> I don't want to see this game. I don't want to see this game won By on a technical down. issue. Yeah. Hey, listen, you know how to pitch. You know where you got. Your foot's got to be. Okay, let's go. Oh, boy. Well, we wasted about a bunch of megabytes on that one, dude. About 500, I think. All right, who's up to bat here? <laughs> I have uh, Jeffrey Goodwin. Yeah, I lost track. All right, here comes Fitz, winds up, and that's going to be foul back in there for strike number two. One ball and two strikes. No, strike one. I got strike two. Maybe uh, I must have strike two. 11 to 7, Lunenburg leading here at the top of the six. This long two hour game. Fitz winds up, here comes the pitch. And that was going to be an in for ball two, two balls and two strikes. All that ended up in a warning. I think that was just wasting everybody's time. Here comes the pitch, ball three. I didn't see anything wrong with Fitz to begin with, to be honest with you. But full count now. Now here comes the windup, here comes the delivery, low. That's ball four. Cameron Field coming up to bat now for the Lunenburg All-Stars. Now batting number 10, Jeffrey Goodwin. Jeffrey Goodwin. Jeffrey Goodwin. I missed, that. I missed one somehow. And they switched sure. something around. All right, here comes down the pitch, low, ball one. You know, and something like that though, Tim, Something like that kind of messes with your head on your on your pitch too. Worry about that too. Yeah. And that's probably what the Lunenburg coach told me to do. Oh yeah. 
One ball, there no strikes. Here comes the pitch. Yeah. That was going to be in there for strike number one. One ball and one strike. Nice pitch. Yeah. Fitz needs, Fitz needs to stay going from the windup. Yeah. Or from the stretch. It's one ball and one strike. Here comes the windup and the pitch. And a nice lay down bunt. That will advance the guy right to uh, second base. Goodwin will be out at first, of course. Didn't move the mound around, but you got one out and the runner on second base. Two outs now. You got two outs? Uh, it should only be one because I don't think they one. called that guy out. Yeah. Oh, that's why I'm on the on the first guy he struck out. Yeah, I thought he was out. No. What? Yeah, they Fitz. protested it. Oh, they're gonna boom that one down in there for us to right our ball number one. Well, where, did he, where did he end going? He's on base. Yeah, he's on base. That's the guy right there on second. Here comes the wind up, the pitch, and this one's going to be a chop to third base. He checks the runner. He throws it to first. He's out. And a nice play at first base for the second. Half. Good job looking that runner back by that third baseman. A good throw. You have no doubt about that. Walker Sandlin looked at the guy, got the ball, looked at him, and, and real quick and held him in second, made that shot to uh, first base, and they were able to get him out. Here comes down the pitch. And it's in there for strike number one. No balls and one strike. Hey, hit it hard here, hit it hard. Hot one here at the top of the sixth, first game. We got two more games after this. Then when the American and then when the Nationals follows. That's in there for ball one, one ball and one strike. Dinwiddie Nationals beating uh, Blackstone yesterday, and then of course uh, Dinwiddie American also won. Hard hit ball. Oh, hey, it's going to go all the way to the fence. Well, Lindenberg scores at least one. That'll make yeah. it. Oh, 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 second base. Oh boy. Oh. That I got on at the protest. <laughs> I even, I even got that on camera. Oh man, that! I hate to tell you, needed this to bring play on that. That'd yeah. been the third and final out too. Yeah. All right, here comes the protest. Here comes the meeting. Here, zoom in on the meeting at the at the meeting on the at the mound, I guess. Well, not on the mound, actually. Oh, behind it. Kind of Umpires. This could be called the game of protests. We've had quite a few. I'm gonna, I am hate to say this. I might have to go to a third disc in this game. Well, now they break it up. And let's see what the ruling's going to be. He said. Well, very hard to reverse something like that. Yeah, they don't seem to want to reverse that. So. Yep. And then win and then the farm bill coach is terrible. Dead. Terrible call. I'm sorry. Well, he will be buying the DVD just to see if he was safe. <laughs> yeah. Twelve to nine now is the score. Oh, I got it captured. He was out. Here comes the pitch. That was an air for strike number one. You can make up for it, Fitz. Put in a hole Runner on second base with two outs. Pitch winds up, the pitch is yeah. swing and a miss. It's in there for strike number two. Two balls and no strike. I mean, uh, no balls and two strikes. Here comes the pitch from Fitz. And that's going to be foul back. Count made the same. Oh, and two. Don't monk okay? Wow, well, my legs are getting sore on this one, Robbie. <laughs> Dimity American and Dimity National, two Dimity teams, going to face off. Finish it off your battle. See what happens. Here comes the wind up, here comes the pitch. And that's going to be ball number one, one ball and two strikes. Good eye, good eye, good eye. Farmville gets up, it'll be their last shot, and they're down by three. But not impossible. No, very far from impossible. 
Here comes the chop pitch, which is hit to the second base, but it's going to be close, and they call him out on first base, and they call him out, and that will retire the side. Two men left on. We got, we got uh, one air, and he's up 12 to 9. Don't go away. Last touch coming up for Farmville. Don't go away. These are not your ordinary doctors. They are the accounting surgeons. Allow them to show you the personal attention it takes in order to receive every single deduction you deserve. The accounting surgeons and crew are here for you all year long, not just January to May. Whether you need tax preparation, payroll work, or bookkeeping services, call the accounting surgeons today. 434-538-0595. They offer very reasonable rates along with their year-round service with a smile. Located at 126 East Carolina Avenue in Crew. the accounting surgeons are here for you. Phone 434-538-0595. Where did they learn to play some music and to paint?